Your future will be robotic. Many say we will have even more robots than humans at some point. In today's video, you will see the world's most advanced robots, from agile ones to heavy lifters, along with a little bonus robot at the end. Starting with Boston Dynamics, of course, and the Atlas robot. It's around 5 feet tall, 180 pounds, and fully electric since the last update, with an improved battery and a runtime of up to 4 hours. It was originally built for search and rescue tasks, but now it does a lot more than that. Especially videos of dynamic movements have been going viral. But in terms of use cases, we are looking mostly at manufacturing and warehouse logistics. Materials are titanium and aluminium and Atlas comes equipped with time-of-flight DEF cameras, RGB and an inertial measurement unit for motion awareness. They are collaborating with Hyundai on a commercial pilot where Atlas can lift, twist and place car parts in spaces designed specifically for humans, not robots. And in a recent video they show the robot's perception and explain the small margin of error they deal with. For example, fitting objects into slots with only 5 cm of clearance is easy for a human but requires great precision. There's no price at the moment, but insiders speak about a research and development unit for well into the six figures. And the company stresses Atlas is a test bed, not something you can pre-order yet. Next one is the Tesla Optimus. It's not officially Gen 3 yet, but it was presented to the public last year at the famous We Robot event, where Optimus walked, danced and passed out drinks. It was a remarkable presentation, but most people quickly noticed a remote operator link and different human voices coming from backstage. Tesla later admitted it was teleoperation for safety, but regardless, it's incredible tech, especially the hands are a major focus. They're boasting 22 degrees of freedom per hand, plus an additional three in the wrist and forearm. This allows for precise manipulation, approaching the complexity of actual human hands. Now the robot is already serving popcorn in the Tesla Dyn without teleoperation. For the Vision, Optimus primarily uses a system similar to Tesla's full self-driving in the vehicles, relying on eight high-resolution cameras for a 360-degree view. It uses stereo cameras for detailed 3D mapping and depth perception, but also down-facing cameras for ground and hazard identification. Since the last version, it has seen significant improvements in movement, but also battery, with up to 10 hours of independent use on a single charge and the ability to recharge quickly. Tesla envisions the robot being used for a variety of tasks and even potentially supporting human colonization efforts on other planets in the long run. Current state is pilot production, so Tesla is building a small number of units for internal use, but large-scale deployment or public availability is not yet happening. They also hit a pause after assembling around 1,000 units in June, facing issues like overheating joint motors, durability concerns and battery endurance. The target price is around 30,000 and if anyone can pull such a low price off, it's definitely Tesla due to their gigafactories and the synergies they can use. But moving on to figure AI. And their pitch is simple, a 5 foot 6, 150 pounds humanoid that can unload a dishwasher on Monday and stock a shelf on Tuesday. The latest specs list a 45 pounds payload, 5 hour runtime and a steady 1.2 meters per second walking speed. The brain is the AI called Helix, which learns tasks the way GPT learns sentences. It's a vision language action model, show it a coffee mug, say place this on the tray and it plans the grasp and the walk path on the fly. The price hovers from around 30 to around 150k, aiming below 20k once volumes climb. Now there are a couple of shops I've seen and they sell it way above 100k. Figure AI has partnered with BMW for example to deploy humanoid robots in their automotive manufacturing facilities. And they've also secured a second major commercial customer which Adcock, the CEO, described as one of the biggest US companies, with a path to shipping 100,000 robots over the next four years. He also revealed that at-home alpha testing will start late 2025, meaning Figure could be the first humanoid to hand you socks instead of shipping boxes. Another pretty advanced robot is Sanctuary's Phoenix. The key differentiator for Phoenix is the AI control system called Carbon. The company emphasizes that they are AI first, 
meaning the development of the cognitive architecture is priority, with the robot body serving as a vessel to execute tasks. Recent demonstrations have shown Phoenix performing increasingly complex tasks and Sanctuary also collaborated with Canadian Tire, for example. The hardware has seen improvements too. The haptic feedback in its hands has been refined, allowing for delicate manipulation. The robot stands at 5 foot 7 and weighs 155 pounds. The max payload is 55 pounds and the max speed is 3 miles per hour. And in most places where I've seen, it actually comes on a wheeled platform instead of legs. Another robot which also comes modular is Aptronics Apollo. Its lower half can be used as a separate wheeled logistics platform. The landmark partnership is with Mercedes-Benz and it's now in full swing. Apollo units are actively being tested in the manufacturing plants in Germany and also Hungary. The robots are primarily used for towed and carry tasks, delivering parts and kits to the assembly line and inspecting components. The goal is to automate physically demanding repetitive tasks, freeing up human workers or completely replace them. Aptronic officially launched commercial sales of Apollo recently and features a unique force control architecture that makes it safe for collaborating with humans and its hot swappable battery system allows for near continuous operation. Moving on to Agility Robotics. As they continue to scale production and deployment of its bipedal robot Digit, their RoboFab manufacturing facility in Oregon recently became fully operational and it's the world's first purpose-built factory for mass-producing humanoid robots and is expected to produce over 10,000 digit units per year. Following its initial tries with Amazon, Agility has announced new pilot programs with several companies. Digit is being tested in brownfield facilities, meaning existing warehouses not specifically designed for robots. Digit's design, which includes legs, a torso and a simple head, but no complex hands, is intentionally minimalist. Agility focuses on perfecting bipedal locomotion for bulk material handling. Recent software updates have improved its ability to navigate cluttered spaces and recover from unexpected trips or shoves. Movement speed is 1.5 meters per second, but that is nothing compared to the next one, which is Unitree's H12, a full-size bipedal humanoid with 30 degrees of freedom and a swappable battery with two hours of runtime. The top running speed is 3.3 meters per second, so that's over seven miles per hour, a Guinness World Record. Powerful electric motors in each joint are a major factor here. It has multiple sensors, including a 360 degree lighter and DAF cameras. Unitree markets it primarily to labs and industry, but you can buy it for around 90k plus on their website, or at least request it. It also appeared for the Chinese Spring Festival Gala, for example, where 16 robots showed a humanoid dance performance. Now, while it doesn't look too human except when dancing, the next one goes for the hyper-realistic look. And that is Emeka by Engineered Arts. Emeka is designed primarily for AI development and human-robot interaction and research or public engagement. It is a modular head and torso humanoid and non-walking. It has 32 degrees of freedom in head and neck, articulated arms and fingers. Cameras are in the eyes and the chest as well as microphones that allow for facial and emotion recognition. The operating system is called Tritium and is capable of real-time conversations and also supports teleoperation. Rental and purchase is available, not for individuals though, and the costs range to over $150,000. There's ongoing development of a walking robot prototype named Amy, but a mecha remains stationary. A similar lifelike style robot is Melody by Realbotics, for example. It's a full body social robot featuring realistic silicone skin. She, for example, is capable of fluid upper body movement, assisted walking, eye contact, and facial expressions. Melody integrates open source AI, being also compatible with large language models from ChatGPT, for example. Price is also around 150,000, and Melody is positioned not as a companion but a robot for, again, education, retail, healthcare, and public-facing roles. At the CES 2025, Melody impressed the audience by tracking faces, shaking hands, and answering unscripted questions. But back to more functional robots. China's Agibot A2 is available right now. It features 200 tops 
computing power for real-time data processing, 49 degrees of freedom and a 10 kilo dual arm payload and the speed of 1.9 meters per second. Over 700 units are in use so far, for example for BYD. Agibot envisions the A2 as a future household companion with a heavy-duty A2 Max with 40 kilos of payload and 67 degrees of freedom planned. China is really going strong also with the Uptech Walker S2, another robot which can swap its batteries fully autonomic in only three minutes. And from Asia to Europe, as an honorable mention, the 4NE1 by Nura, which had a notable moment at a recent demonstration where it was ironing and doing other advanced tests. So it's really hard to tell which one is the most advanced one right now. And also, if you're more into smaller, fun robots, you can still buy the bonus robot of this video, which is the Ricci Mini, the compact 28 centimeter desktop humanoid head by Pollen Robotics and Hugging Face intended for education and fun. It's completely open source and the light version starts at $299. For more in-depth research tech videos, subscribe and like helps the channel and I'll see you in the next one.